Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. You know, about two weeks ago, I did an overview of Troy Bolt's brand new 2420 two-stage snow thrower. I went over its functions and features, but I didn't get to do a performance test because we were still going through a warm spell. Now, fast forward to today, and it's a completely different story. It snowed overnight, and the snow's gonna stick around a little while. Okay, it's only about 20 degrees outside. So let's fire this thing up and see what it can do. Now overnight it snowed about six inches and I had both our cars parked in the driveway so there's not a lot of snow in the middle but there's plenty along the sides and along the street where the plow came for a good test run. The 2420 comes with adjustable skid shoes that you can move up or down to adjust the spacing so that the bottom of the blower isn't scraping the pavement. Now these come preset from the factory and I didn't really mess with them because the spacing looked good and then it out working fine when I was clearing the snow. After inserting the safety key and priming the motor, we're ready to pull the rope. Now first off, I was glad to see that the snowblower started just as easy as it did before. Okay, it fired up with one pull. Now I'm going to start in front of the house where the plow pushed all the snow. And I have a combination of light powdered snow, slush, and because it's so cold out, some of it's even starting to ice over. So we got a little bit of everything. And so far, the 2420 seems to have no trouble going right through it. Guys, you can even hear the snow screaming trying to get away from this machine. Actually, that's just my four-year-old. But I'm here running in fourth gear on my second pass along the street, and this machine has no problem at all. Now coming up the side of the driveway, the snow's a lot lighter and less compact, and because of that, I thought it might just sort of fall out of the chute, but I was glad to see that the Troy Bolt still sent it flying over into the yard. Now when it comes to clearing the paver pathway leading up to my front doorsteps, I'm still going to use my old electric snowblower. Now this is a model made by Snow Joe and it pulls a whopping 13 amps. And guys, I'm not going to lie, this does, and always has, worked really well. Now I put a link in the description box for it, but I'm not sure if Snow Joe even makes these anymore. Uh, from what I've seen, I think they've gone all cordless. But if you're looking for something smaller and can get your hands on one of these corded models, based on my experience, they're definitely worth the money. Now to finish things up, I'm going to use the Troy Belt to clear along the road on the other side of the mailbox. And just like we've seen before, the 2420 has absolutely no problem picking this stuff up and throwing it out of the way. When I did my overview of the 2420, I said that I felt it was a great machine for the price. And after seeing how it ran here today, I still feel the exact same way. Now yes, this is only the first time I've used it. But the 2420 has a quality feel, starts easy, has smooth drive speeds, and plenty of power to handle a variety of snow. Overall, it's a great basic snow blower. And to me, basic is a good thing. Yes, it can be nice to have some extra bells and whistles, but that's just more stuff with the potential to break, and when it does, many people don't get it fixed anyway. So to conclude my review of this snowblower, I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the market. And if you're interested in learning more about the 2420, I've included a link in the description box of the overview I did two weeks ago that goes over its features and functions. Now believe it or not, I actually went into my local Home Depot the other day, and these were retailing for $6.99. I just wanted to take a minute and thank everybody for checking out my videos here in the shop. 
I noticed the overview I did of this machine brought a fair amount of views and even some new subscribers, and that's something that I definitely appreciate. So guys, take care, stay warm, and I'll see you next time.